Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to make wireless or Wi-Fi calls with your iPhone or your Android phone. The recent Verizon outage has a lot of you thinking, maybe I should have a backup plan when it comes to using my cellular phone or my smartphone, as we most often call it. We are pretty dependent on our smart devices, on our smartphones, and it makes it a very difficult situation when it comes to not having access to our cellular networks. When networks like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile are down, it makes it very difficult to make ingoing and outgoing calls. Now, 10 years ago, this wasn't really a big issue because we had a mixture of landlines and cell phones. But with most of you getting rid of your landlines and relying only on cellular data, it can be a challenge when you lose access to your cellular network. Now, even though you haven't thought about what you should do as far as a backup plan when it comes to your mobile device, tech developers have definitely thought in advance and have included a feature called wireless calling in all smart devices. Now, the way it works is this. You lose your cellular connection with your favorite network. You need to make calls. Well, if you can locate your favorite wireless spot, such as a library, coffee shop, airport, or other public place that offers free Wi-Fi, you can connect your phone to the wireless network wherever you are and make calls with Wi-Fi. Now, you really only need two things in order to make it happen. You need to connect your smartphone to wireless and you need to enable Wi-Fi calling on your smart device. Now, there is many reasons why you would want to do Wi-Fi calling and it doesn't always have to do with outages. You need to think of instances where you're in an area where there is we, we, low, not low we we we, but low wireless service or no wireless service and you can connect to a Wi-Fi issue. With the Verizon outage that happened a couple of days ago, then you know that your Verizon phone showed an SOS signal or a notification at the top of your phone, which essentially means that your phone cannot connect to any cellular network. This doesn't mean that towers were blown up or a cyber attack. It simply means that the Verizon network went down for one issue, whether it be software or hardware. But again, if you are relying on your cell phone as opposed to a landline, you definitely need to know how to turn on wireless connection. So let's walk through the steps of how to use Wi-Fi calling. And we're going to start with Apple because Apple is usually just a lot easier. So bear with me. All right. So we've got my iPhone and I'm going to have to step you through this by you moving my mouse cursor on where we want to go and touching the button on the screen. So for your Wi-Fi calling, first you need to make sure that your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. You can do that by simply going to settings. Once you're in settings, we need to back out of this, we want to go to Wi-Fi. Once we're on Wi-Fi, then we need to make sure that the Wi-Fi option is enabled. And then we need to, once we enable Wi-Fi, find a wireless network in our area and provide it that you know the Wi-Fi password, enter the, select the wireless network we want to connect to, enter the wireless password, and lo and behold, we have a, we are connected to Wi-Fi. Our next step is after we connect our smart device or our Apple device to a wireless network, then we want to go to cellular. Once we are in cellular, then we can make sure that, well, we don't want to make sure because we know that our phone is on cellular data. Now, if this option is turned on and you don't have Wi-Fi or cellular data, it's no big deal. Just leave it alone. What you want to concentrate on is what's the section called Wi-Fi calling, which is right here. You want to click on Wi-Fi calling and then make sure you click on or enable 
Wi-Fi calling. Once you hit enabled, your smart device will connect to your network. And I don't know why I clicked instead of tapped and then you can do wireless connection or wireless calling. Now keep in mind there are some other settings on the iPhone. You can add Wi-Fi calling for your other Apple devices, which you can do here. You can also update your emergency address if you're on Wi-Fi, because if you're off cellular data, then your wireless connection is going to confuse if you need to connect to emergency services. So it's very important that if you think you're gonna be on Wi-Fi calling for a while, that you go in and make sure that you update your emergency address so that if you make a Wi-Fi call, it'll make it to where you need to be. And then finally, prefer Wi-Fi while roaming? I don't know, because the challenge is, is that if you're on a cellular network, you may roam quite a bit, and you don't necessarily want it to jump to Wi-Fi when you're roaming. Now, if you are traveling in an area and you have instant access to Wi-Fi calling, you can enable this feature to ensure that if you lose your cellular data, then it will give you access to um, uh, your phone and it'll automatically jump on Wi-Fi calling. So that is, my friends, how you would do it on an iPhone. Now, what about you Android users? You're like, oh my gosh, you're not just gonna cover Apple tech, right? No, I've got you covered. So let's, again, go to look at an Android phone. So I've got an Android phone and we're gonna go to where all our apps are. Now Android, it is you're gonna have to go to two separate sections to find Wi-Fi calling. But again, first, you wanna click on settings. So let's click on settings. Let's click on settings and there we go. You wanna make sure that your device is connected to Wi-Fi and you can do that by going to settings and connection. Once you're under connection, then you can go to your device, make sure Wi-Fi is on and that you're connected to your Wi-Fi connection. And there you have it. So now let's get out of connections. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the tricky part with an Android device. Under some Android devices, because you know it's LG, it's Samsung, you name it, it's an Android device out there. So under settings, for starters, you can definitely scroll down the list of all of the settings under your Android device, and you should be able, under normal sec circumstances, to find the option to turn on Wi-Fi calling. But not all Android devices are made equal. Sometimes what you have to do is pull down the screen. Let me do that again. <laughs> Let's get back. There. You're gonna have to go to the top of your Android device and pull it down. And as you can see, there is the option for Wi-Fi calling. And I was trying to tap on the screen so that you can see it, but that is the icon for Wi-Fi calling. And once you click that, after you've connected to Wi-Fi, then you're able to make wireless calls with your device. Now the challenge is, is that not every carrier offers Wi-Fi calling. That's right. Even though I went through these steps, you'll have to get with your carrier to find out if you even have access to Wi-Fi calling. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. But keep in mind, there are other options that you can use as far as wireless calling is concerned. You can use free third-party apps to make wireless calls in the case of an emergency. Now, I don't know if I have them all on here, but the top two that I would recommend would be number one, WhatsApp. So let's go back to our phone and take a look at WhatsApp. Now it's kind of, I didn't set it up right. I hate to say that, but there's the icon for WhatsApp. And then I'm under settings, but you can definitely go to calls. And as you can see, you can make calls with WhatsApp like you would a regular phone. As you can see, some of the numbers that I have on here or international, but the good thing with WhatsApp, you can chat, you can make calls, and thank God for Meta, because if it wasn't for Meta, you wouldn't have access to WhatsApp, because yes, WhatsApp is a Meta app. Now, the other one that I want to show, um, let's see if we can find it. Oh, I don't have it, but let's go with Google Voice. Google Voice is another option that you can use 
in in the case of an emergency if you need a backup call. You connect the Wi-Fi like you would with WhatsApp. You can utilize Google Voice by going to the website google.voice.com and you can also go to Google Voice in the App Store, which let me see if I can go to the App Store and see if we can find Google Voice so you good people know what to look for. And give me a second, let's switch screens, and there is Google Voice, which I've had on my phone before. You can download it, Nine, or 60,000 people have downloaded and given it good reviews, probably more than that, but anyway, that is a great option that you can use in the instance that you need backup. Now, one more thing, I have to show you one last app, it ain't free, but it's a good option as far as voice over IP, especially if you're a business. Now, if you're a business, you need to do the two-step tango when it comes to having your smartphone and a voice over IP service. May I recommend Vonage, which is a great app that you can use in order to keep track of all of your contacts and make outgoing calls from your smartphone uh, from your Vonage app. The way voice over IP works is this. If you need to make an outgoing call, Vonage will use either Wi-Fi calling or it will use your cellular data to make outgoing calls. You go into the app. What am I doing? Let's show it. You go into the app. <laughs> there you go. And you can dial like you would a regular number. And the good thing about wireless calling through either WhatsApp, Google Voice, Vonage, or even Ring Central is that you when you make your outgoing call, it does not reveal your mobile number. Did you hear that? It doesn't reveal your mobile number, so you can make calls with your voice over IP app. So that is another option that you can use that will work on both cellular data and Wi-Fi data, and you can have a backup in the instance that your phone goes out. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions about wireless calling, Leave me in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you to find out if I can help you get your devices connected. Now, again, remember that not every cellular service offers, well, I should, let me back up a little bit. Not everyone is going to have Wi-Fi calling as part of their cellular plan. So you need to call your cellular provider to find out if Wi-Fi calling is part of your plan. If it isn't, you might want to consider it for backup purposes as long as it fits in your budget. Um, but worst case scenario, if Wi-Fi calling is not part of your plan, you definitely can download Google Voice or WhatsApp and make calls in that method as well. So with that said, with every video, I shouldn't say beg, I would ask that you tell your friends about this video and let me know if you liked it, so like it. Be sure to comment on the video and share it with your friends because I know that you know other people that are struggling with the technology they use at home and at work. So my goal with every video is to make sure that you're getting the most out of the technology you use at home and at work. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching.